crowds at Ellen Road this season have averaged over 39,000. That's 10,000 up on Leeds Championship season of 1991-92 and higher also than when Leeds won the title twice in the days of Don Reeve. And into this atmosphere, Willem Corsten, the six foot four inch Dutchman who was on loan to Leeds for two months last season, faces his old club on his long awaited full debut for Tottenham. Spurs beat Leeds to his signature amid some acrimony at the start of the season, but injuries have kept Corsten out until two brief recent appearances as substitute. Well, Alan Smith played with Corsten fleetingly last season, but Leeds' 19-year-old striker won't forget his last two matches against Spurs. He scored in both, but was also sent off at White Hart Lane in August. Leeds are without Bridges, McPhail and Batty all injured, Hopkins suspended and Radebe still in Africa. So a limited choice for David O'Leary, who brings Matthew Jones, another 19-year-old, into midfield. Otherwise, it's the team beaten at Liverpool last week. George Graham, back on familiar territory of course, also makes one change. Corsten comes in for the injured Stefan Everson. Number seven, Darren Anderson, has a good record on this ground. Two goals here the last time Spurs won, and he also scored once here for England. Referee Dermot Gallagher gets the game started, leads in all white, playing from the right in the first half. This is Hart who scored at... Uh, White Hart Lane back in August when Leeds won and both teams in need of a victory today Leeds have lost three of their last four in the Premiership and Tottenham have won only two of their last 13 League and Cup games Kelly and now Kewell and Campbell oh and Sol Campbell under pressure puts the ball out for a corner Kirill was pursuing him. Awkward one for Tottenham to deal with. Could have gone anywhere. This is Bowyer. Spurs had to get the ball away. Armstrong and Anderton. Oh, look at the gap in the centre. Where on earth are the lead centre-backs? It was Tim Sherwood who had the shot, trying to curl it in from distance. Kelly for lead. Smith trying to stay on side further forward. Good movement again by Kewell. Oh, and they've left themselves short again, Tottenham. Kewell just beaten to it by Walker. Chris Perry let him go. And here are leads again with Smith. Effort on the turn. And Ian Walker is being kept very busy in these opening minutes. George Graham, who's uh, been back, of course, before to Allen Road since he left because he was here in the FA Cup last season with Tottenham. Martin Peters next to him. Offside. That's a flag against Chris Armstrong, and it's been seen. Offside is it? No, not against Harry Kewell anyway. And Kewell's got past Walker. And Harry Kewell for Leeds. And they've scored. And it was a good decision by Dermot Gallagher and the assistant because the player in the offside position was not interfering in my opinion. That's a very, very interesting decision by the officials. Harry Kewell has scored for Leeds. He was in the clear. The other player here is wandering back. Look at that. Not interfering. Play on, say the officials. Walker comes out, gets nowhere near it. Kewell inside Campbell, 1-0 leads. 23 minutes. And that's beautifully taken by the Australian, there's no question about that. But the law, in my view, correctly applied there in favour of the attackers. 
Liverpool again for Leeds. Bowyer. It's on again to Kelly. He's got Backer on that side as well. There he is. Smith in the middle. Away by Tirico. Corner to Leeds. so good actually from that position he would have expected to do better Wilcox, this is Smith. Oh! What a lovely turn again by the 19 year old. He really has spun Campbell and Perry throughout the half. Wilcox, good header. Smith. Well, Smith again. He's such a live wire. Boy's a real talent, and Tottenham have been embarrassed at times by him today. Certainly had an enjoyable half from his perspective. This is car for Tottenham, it hasn't been so enjoyable for them. But Armstrong here is onside, this is possibly Tottenham's best opportunity. That's all it was. The referee blows for half-time as Armstrong shoots wide in a half where there haven't been many bright moments for Spurs Leeds have been the better side by a distance one up thanks to Harry Kuehl a goal which in my view was a compliment to the officials in a way but they could have had more well Leeds will be hating uh, <laughs> the fact that um, Manchester United was six points clear before today, but uh, they're certainly trying to prove here that the uh, championship race is open. And Tottenham will be hating the sight of uh, Harry Kewell. He's scored now in the last three meetings here in the league. And when you think that Tottenham are coming from a goal behind, you look at the bench, Apart from uh, little Joe Dominguez, there's hardly anybody in an attacking sense that George Graham can bring on. Free kick to Tottenham. Anderton takes. And it's 2-1 for all of them. Corston half got it back, but what a dangerous ball he played oh and that's now then the Tottenham players are furious with Bowyer there's trouble there's real trouble Lee Bowyer's tackle has caused a real fracas here oh there are players pushing shoving arms are out others are trying to restrain them all sorts in danger here of disciplinary action Dermot Callagher with a real sorting out job to do Bowyer was the man who went in allegedly with both feet Joel Campbell trying to help sort it out here and referee Gallagher shows the yellow card to Lee Bowyer to start with and that's why it's on Stephen Clements now then the assistant referee is going to tell Mr Gallagher what else happened well it was difficult to sort out who was involved there they were all at one moment in a melee in the middle of the field and Boya is the man punished by a yellow card I think he's been booked about 14 times this season Lee Boya well that's really up the tempo now and players are going to be very careful because you can see reactions creeping in unless they're, unless they're restrained Smith for Leeds 
takes on Perry. Oh, free kick. Well, what an explosive start to the second half. It was close on Mayhem a minute ago. Leeds now have a free kick. Hart flags up, flags up. Offside, Harry Kill. No goal. Kill goes in first here. That's where I think he's either offside or pushing. Comes back off the bar. Dewberry puts it in. Offside, in my opinion, was the decision. Harry Kill, the offender. Corston getting it from Armstrong to his right. Anderton now makes a run. Wasn't the best of passes. And Hart caught up with him. Oh, good movement by Carr for Tottenham. Armstrong's in the middle. 